And now for today's Bible question. Today we have been learning about responding to God's invitation and also about how proud people cannot overcome the wisdom of Jesus. Perhaps someone might ask the question, What shall I do if I cannot understand something written in the Bible? There is a tendency for men to think that they can understand God's word or that they must be able to answer every question of someone who disagrees with them about what they believe. This comes from pride in our hearts and a desire to be wise and correct in the sight of others. However, we do not know everything nor shall we ever know all things. Only God has all knowledge. So with my limited knowledge, I try my best to understand what I read in the Bible. But there will be times when a certain doctrine is beyond my understanding. Perhaps in the future, once I have studied more, God will reveal more understanding to me. But I should learn to humbly accept that I am limited. If you engage in arguments with others who disagree with your beliefs, just remember you do not have to pretend that you know everything there is to know about the Bible. The Bible is able to defend itself, and God will always vindicate His truth. Men who disagree with the Bible do so for moral reasons, and not from honest, intellectual reasons. Men either love their sin or their false religion and want to justify it by trying to find fault with the Bible as the Sadducees did. But men can argue all they want. The Bible will stand, for it is God's word and no man can refute it or stand against it without suffering consequences. If we want to understand the Bible with a view to obey God, then God will be pleased to increase our understanding and give us answers to others who have not submitted themselves to God's word. All Christians are messengers of light and seek to help others know about Jesus Christ and the salvation he freely offers. You do not have to be a university professor to explain the simple plan of salvation to others, and so every Christian can share some understanding of the Bible, even if they do not know the whole Bible very well. Never be proud of your knowledge of the Bible, or God will resist you, and you will tend towards spiritual ruin. If someone asks you a question about the Bible that you are not sure how to answer, then admit that you are not sure, but you will try to learn so that next time you meet, you can have an answer for them. The Christian should always be learning and reading the Bible so that they can give an adequate answer to those who ask him about his faith. But also, never be proud and think you have to know so much about the Bible to ensure your faith is protected. God will look after his own truth. Our main job is to help others know the simple gospel message so they can also find their way to heaven. It is not my job to convince others of everything written in the Bible. That is not to say that I should not study the Bible well and be prepared to answer honest questions or objections that others might have. Even though I might have a good answer to give to a skeptic or someone holding false teachings, they might not want to listen to the answer or just move to some other argument. Some people cannot be convinced because they refuse to see, even when the evidence is presented to them. This was like the Pharisees, who saw all the miracles, heard Jesus' wise answers, but were still determined to kill him because they envied him. The Bible is given to us by our God, who is infinite in knowledge and understanding, and though he has written in a way that we can understand, there are some things concerning God's nature and his power and knowledge that are simply beyond our grasp. This is because he is God, and we are merely limited creatures that he has made. Thus we read in the Bible, O the depth of the riches, both of the wisdom and knowledge of God! How unsearchable are his judgments and his ways 
past finding out. Romans chapter 11 verse 33.